traditions and everyone has their set ways and everyone needs something for the holiday parties that are all coming up. So it is the holiday season and everything can get a little crazy. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make the famous Danish apple cake. The reason why I love this so much is because growing up as a kid, my grandfather used to love it and we used to always make it for him around the Christmas time. It's a cake that has been passed down from generation to generation. So it's one of the main reasons why I love it so much. But it's also really easy to make. The products are pretty cheap to pick up and it takes approximately 25 minutes to complete. So today I'm gonna to show you how to prep, what ingredients you need, and also how to layer the cake. So the ingredients, the supplies that we need are a clear dish, a whisk, a mixing bowl, spoons, plates, and a large frying pan. The reason why I always suggest a clear dish is because you'll be able to see each layer individually, which kind of gives it more of a pres presentation. So it's not like you're showing up and you can't see what you're eating. If you look, you'll be able to see each layer. So now that I've told you about what we'll need. This is a little bit about the ingredients that we're gonna need in order to make the Danish apple cake. So you need the large thing of applesauce, a box of graham crackers, sugar, butter, heavy cream, and vanilla. So the first step that you wanna do is get your graham crackers ready. With the graham crackers, I normally use about two packs to three packs, depending on how big of a pan. For this, I normally kind of just roll them a little bit and kind of crush them up to get like a fine consistency. You don't want to make them too thin, but you also don't want it to be chunky. And while you're doing that, I normally set up the frying pan. So with the frying pan, I'll go ahead and turn on the stove to about medium temperature. Let the butter melt. With this, I use two sticks of butter. You want to let it boil, but not like burn. So once the butter gets completely heated through and it's completely melted, that's when you're going to go ahead and take the graham crackers from the pack and go ahead and pour them into the pan. Once you pour them into the pan, you wanna go ahead and stir them to get um, a thicker consistency. It doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to be runny. It has to be more of like a thicker consistency. So the longer it sits, it'll kind of gather together. Then once you have that, you kinda of wanna set that to side to let that cool. Next, you can go ahead and make your whipped cream. With the whipped cream, you just need a large bowl, a mixer, a little bit of the heavy cream, the vanilla, and sugar. So with that, you're gonna take your bowl, you're gonna mix all that ingredients together. And with this, you can add a little more vanilla if you like the taste, or you can not use as much. Um, but you kinda want like a thicker consistency, but not super thick. And then next is where the applesauce would come in, which then leads us to, after combining, we are then going to lead into layering. So with layering, it can be a little tricky because you still want to be pretty with it, but this is where it can get a little messy if you're not easy. So with the layering, you want to make sure that it's fine and thin, but you don't want it to be like chunky. So when you're layering, you want to make sure that the first layer you start is with graham crackers. So you're going to take the graham crackers that you put aside earlier and you're going to start off with the first layer. The first layer I feel like is the most important part because that's what sets the base of the cake. So if it's kind of uneven and chunky, then your cake's just gonna kind of flop. The next layer you take is applesauce. Um, with the applesauce, same thing is you just wanna make sure it's an even layer. You don't want too much because if you put too much, it's gonna create like an uneven. So again, for presentation, it's not gonna look as nice. With this, I would say about four layers is usually good, um, but they should definitely be like equal when you're applying everything. Um, with all the ingredients, once you have everything set up, it normally takes about 25 minutes to make, but the reason why I love it is it's fast and easy and the cleanup isn't hard. So if you're running late for a holiday party, don't know what to bring, this is probably one of the best ideas, I would say. And then lastly, when you're about to serve it, I would always suggest not putting the whipped cream on when you make it, but to bring it along with you. So when you're getting ready to serve it, that's when 
you would apply and you apply it just like you would any other for the other layers and you don't need a lot but you kind of just add it to the top like that and then when you go to serve it it's always good to just kind of like take a little serving spoon it can get like with the danish apple cake it's important to remember that it's not like a normal cake so because it's the graham crackers the applesauce it does move around a little bit but the reason why the layers are so important is because the lot the bottom layer gives it the consistency I will show you guys the finished product. So if you look, you actually can see the layers. It's the graham cracker, the applesauce, the graham cracker, applesauce, graham cracker, whipped cream. And the reason why I love this is because the ingredients are cheap. It's easy to mix. The layering is just like a lasagna. You just gotta stay consistent. And finally, it's just been a holiday tradition. My grandfather loves it. It's been passed down. And I hope you guys enjoy it too.